All right, guys, in this video, we're going to um, go over how to install some fonts and use them in our movie poster project. Um, what you first want to do is go to defont.com. So go to your whatever web browser you're using and type in D-A-F-O-N-T dot C-O-M. And what we're going to do is sometimes by default, there, there are not a lot of real interesting fonts uh, that we can use. But by installing them, then we can open them up and use them in Photoshop. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll through here and find some interesting fonts that we can use for our movie poster. And they're categorized into these different categories like cartoon and comic. So just scroll through here and spend some time. Um, there's even a cool Western selection. So who knows, maybe by finding a font you really like, that'll dictate what your whole project's going to look like. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to search and see if it has my favorite movie of all time, Back to the Future. And look at that. It has the font. So Back to the Future 2002. Now you're going to need to remember the name of your font. This one's going to be pretty easy for me, but um, we're going to have to search for it by name in Photoshop. So what we want to do once we've identified it is click on the download over here. And then you'll see we get a, uh, a file over here. We're just going to click on that. It's sent to our download file, and um, and then this pops up, and uh, this is a good example because this gives us a couple different files. Sometimes you'll get this. Um, the one that you want, we don't need to install all of them. We're just gonna, we need to look for the one that says True Type Font File, and so I'm going to double click on that, and it's going to pop up, and you'll see that it has the option to install. So I'm going to click on that, and um, what it's saying here is. I've actually already installed it. So it's asked me, do I want to replace it? I'll just say yes. And then uh, at the moment, you're going to think that nothing's happened, but it's actually already installed it. So we can close out of this. And uh, what we're going to do right now is go over to Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop. And let's say we're already starting the project, but we don't have our photograph. Let's just create a new document. So we're going to go create new. And uh, what we're going to do is we've, we're going to, um, change this over to inches and we want our width to be what's going on there our width to be 8.5 we want the height to be 11 we want our resolution to be 150 and then we're just going to um, select create at the moment so it's going to create a new document and at this point what we're going to do is start working on our text so we can go over to our text tool right here and uh, we're going to select the, the horizontal text and look at that. It's already on back to the future, but let's say it wasn't, let's say um, we were on a different font and how would we go and, and figure out where, where that is? Well, you've got to scroll through here and they're listed in alphabetical order. So you just got to scroll through there and hopefully you remember the name of your font. Sometimes they're kind of obscure names, but let's go back here, back to the future. And um, so be, by default, we have these different point sizes for our font. Let's see what uh, size 24 is. So let's go ahead and, and start. Oh, and you can see the text is off the page. Um, it's center justified. Let's go left justified. Okay, so back to the, and everything's coming in uh, capital here. So I don't really need to worry about it. back to the future. Okay, so. Um, so I've got my text right here. Uh, you'll, you'll notice that um, I can't really move it at the moment because I'm still editing it. Um, let's say I didn't like this blue. What I can do at this point is I can highlight over. Okay, so I can move it that way, but I just want to highlight it. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing. And then I can go and change my color. Um, I can go and select another shade of blue, or maybe I just want to get an entirely different color. Maybe we'll stick, let's go with like a red. Okay, so I'm going to click on that and then click OK. So back to the future. Now, um, I'm going to hit this check mark and that sets it. Let's go switch over to the move tool so I can move this around. Um, I want to make this bigger. It's not really filling the space that well. So let's see what we can do. Um, if I go back to my text tool or if I push the letter T and then I go to my text tool, I can hover over this, click on it. And then I can highlight the whole thing. Um, let's select a larger point size. So I could go to 72. All right, that's pretty big. So let's see, where do we want to split this? Let's 
let's go ahead and hit return and maybe we'll just do that. So back to the future. Okay. Um, maybe at this point I want to select everything and do that center justified. Let's go to my move tool. So that's kind of cool. Okay. Um, you know what? Maybe, maybe this middle part, here's a little trick. Let's go back to that text tool. Let's highlight it. Let's go to this part and uh, let's make this smaller just for a little design element. See what that does. Mm, it's interesting. Okay. I think I prefer that a little bit more. It felt a little too big before. Back to the future. Okay. Um, one other thing we can do is we can also go edit, free transform, and then we get our dialog box, and then we can use our, we can just scale it. This is kind of nice because it gives us a lot more custom control. So those are a couple different ways you can resize your text. Now another feat, another thing I want you to do with your text is to add a layer effects. That's right here. So in the layers palette, we'll go to our FX and let's just start with the drop shadow. So what the drop shadow does is, uh, let's, let's turn it off for a minute. Just take a look at the text. You'll see it adds a little bit of a shadow, gives it a little bit of depth. Um, you can go in there and customize your settings. So I've got my drop shadow. Let's also check out and see what an inner shadow does. I kind of like that too. It gives it a nice depth in a different direction. So I've added those two elements for my, um, my, on my layer. Okay. Now, one other thing I want to do, um, a requirement that we're going to be putting in here is the movie poster credits. And I'm not going to have you type it all up because it's kind of a lot, but what we can do a little, a little um, shortcut is let's go to Google. Let's type in movie poster credits. Okay, so I'm just going to go to images. And let's look at all these different ones. Okay, now we want to find one that has pretty good a pretty good size. And when you hover over there, you'll see the numbers show there. So this is 1,024 pixels wide. Let's see what this one is. That one's pretty good as well. Um, now that's really small. 600, we, we don't want to really mess with that one. That one's going to be a little too small. So let's go back to this one here. Okay, there we have that 1,000. And 24 pixels. So let's right click on this. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy image. And then I'm going to go back to Photoshop and I'm just going to go edit, paste. So it takes that and it pastes it in there. Now, okay, so we have the white text, we have the black background. Um, it kind of pops out against this white. So let me show you another cool trick. Let's go down here to the back background layer and add a new layer beneath everything. And then let's go edit, fill. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to fill this in. We're going to fill it in with a 50% gray. Okay, so we have everything. You're like, why did we do that? Well, I just wanted to show you um, before we have the picture in there, uh, I wanted to show you what we can do with the text here. We can go over to your blend modes, and a few of these blend modes do a really cool trick. Um, screen. So by going to screen, it makes the black, it just kind of, sends it away and then we see our white text so that's a really nice easy trick for getting your um adding your text in there so at this point we have a nice we uh, place that we started from we've created the document um, we've added our our title and now we're ready to just go out and take our picture and bring that in so hopefully that helps um, we've gone over the text we've gone over um, different fonts that make it look a little more unique and we've also gone over the layer effects and the movie credits. So we're in a good position. All right, look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know.